This is video lecture on SDS page. Acrylamide gel is used as a supporting media in electrophoresis and is often referred as page. Acrylamide is the principal component in polymer formation. Methylene bisacrylamide serves as a crosslinker. Ammonium parsulfate serves as a source for free radical and timid acts as a catalyst. Sulfate free radical form in this process will help in the formation of polyacrylamide. Polymerization is an alternative method to polymerize acrylamide gel using riboflavin. Acrylamide and bisacrylamide with riboflavin is poured between glass plates and placed in front of bright light for 2-3 to three hours. Photo decomposition of riboflavin generates a free radical which facilitates polymerization process. SDS page is a technique widely used to separate proteins according to their electrophoretic mobility. Biopolymers such as protein and nucleic acids are folded in a compact structure by varieties of non-covalent ionic interactions such as hydrogen bonding and salt bridges. The electrophoretic mobility of the denatured molecule will be changed compared to that in a non-denaturing condition. This is a key player in PAGE. It's an anionic detergent made up of two parts, a hydrophobic tail and hydrophilic head. Hydrophilic Hydrophobic tail is made of 12 carbon chain and hydrophobic chain can interact into the hydrophobic parts of the protein by detergent action. SDS is highly charged and it binds to the protein in proportion to their molecular weight and imparts its negative charge to the protein. SDS molecule exert strong internal repulsive force tend to stretch out the random coil protein into a rod like shape. Buffers used in electrophoresis. The stacking gel is a large pore polyacrylamide gel. This gel is prepared with trace buffer 6.8 pH of about 2 pH unit lower than that of electrophoresis buffer. These conditions provide an environment for Kolros reactions. As a result, proteins are concentrated to several fold a thin starting zone in a few minutes. This gel is cast over the resolving gel. The height of the stacking gel region was always maintained more than the double the height and the volume of the sample to be applied. Lower buffer and resolving gel. The resolving gel is a small pore polyacrylamide gel. The tris buffer used is of pH 8.8. .8. In this gel, macromolecules separates according to their size. Resolving gels were used for separating different range of proteins. Sample buffer. Trace buffer of PS 6.8, SDS is used, beta mercaptoethanol which disrupts the disulfide bridges at high temperature, glycerol or sucrose or ficol provides density to the sample thus allowing the sample to settle easily through the electrophoresis buffer to the bottom when injected into the loading well and bromophenol blue it's a tracking dye that allows the electrophoretic run to be monitored electrode buffer tris buffer of ph 8.3 sds anionic detergent glycine glycine is a weak acid and it can exist in either of two states an uncharged zwitter ion or a charged glycinate ion This picture shows the separation of protein in a vertical electrophoresis.
The electrophoresis protein exists as a concentrated bands embedded within each lane of the porous polyacryl polyacrylamide gel matrix. The, typically, the proteins are still bound to the anionic S detergents and the entire gel matrix is saturated in a particulate buffer. Once on the completion of electrophoresis, the gel is stained. There are different methods of staining the gel. The most commonly used is Comasi staining using either the G250 or R250 form of the dye. Colladial Comasi can be formulated to, to effectively stain proteins within one hour and require only water for de-staining. It is a convenient method involves a single ready to use reagent and does not permanently modify the target protein. Also no chemical modification occurs. Excised protein bands can be completely de-stained and the proteins recovered for the analysis by mass spectrometry or sequencing. An initial water wash step is necessary to remove residual SDS which interferes with dye binding. Gel is incubated with stain usually for one hour followed by washing away excess of stain with the water or simple methanol or acetic acid. Sensitivity of 8 to 100 nanogram without significant staining of the background. Another technique for staining is the silver staining. The technique involves the deep deposition of metallic silver onto the surface of a gel at the location of protein bands. Silver ion interact and bind with certain protein functional groups. Strongest interaction occurs with the carboxyl acid groups. This is the advantage and disadvantage of covalent versus non-covalent silver staining. Another method is zinc staining. In this method, all part of page except uh, the part which contain proteins are stained. Zinc ion complex with imidazole which precipitates in the gel matrix except where SDS saturated protein occur. The milky white precipitate renders the background opaque while the protein band remains clear. Zinc reverse staining is reversible, simple, fast and sensitive, high, co high contrast protein bands and is able to detect protein unable to be detected with silver stain like glycoprotein, works with the native and SDS denatured gels and gels containing glycine and tricine, excellent for subsequent protein elution blotting, sequencing and mass spectroscopy. Cypro Ruby Protein Staining Here also the protocol is simple. No over staining. 1 to 4000 dynamic range. Less protein to protein variations. Stains also glycoprotein, lipoprotein and calcium binding proteins and other difficult to stain proteins, do not stain DNA and RNA, MS compatible and but it is expensive. This are the gel stain with different staining technique. Application of SDS page, SDS gel electrophoresis is used after each step of purification protocol to access the purity or otherwise of the sample. It is an important part of western blotting and 2D gel electrophoresis. It's widely used technique for determining relative molecular weight of protein. A pure protein should give a single band on an SDS page unless the molecule is made up of two unequal subunits. In the later case, two bands corresponding to two subunits will be seen. These are the safety notes. Acrylamide is extremely toxic, so be cautious when you use it. 
Ammonium persulfate should be made fresh and dimmit should be stored in a refrigerator in a dark bottle. This is a picture of one dimensional SDS page. This is of two, 2D SDS page. Photographs of electrophoresis unit. Thank you.